right after high school, I tried to go um, to a university and I just was not mentally ready. A couple years later, tried to go to a community college in Virginia and working two jobs and trying to maintain, you know, a household. And I felt like work was more important at the time than trying to further my education. Fast forward to living in North Carolina and just knowing that I needed to go back to school, I wanted to do something more. I researched nursing programs and Forsyth Tech had one of the best NCLEX pass rates. At the time, I wanted to be a nurse and so I figured that would be the best bet to go. So I would commute from Mount Airy. It's the advisors who were here that embraced me and helped me realize that sometimes we put ourselves in a box and that box is way too small for what we actually are. They kind of just helped steer me and show me that I have the capability to be able to help others, but it really didn't click until something happened to me that I was like, well, maybe I actually really do need help. Um, I got into a car accident where the person who hit me kept driving and my car had a busted radiator so I couldn't go anywhere. Um, and at the time I was commuting probably a good 45 minutes back and forth to school. I was worried that I was gonna lose where I was in school, I was gonna have to drop out, I was gonna lose my presidency, all the things that I was doing that you know I felt really good about all came crashing down over, you know, $850. They got me um, into the right process to get that taken care of. There are a lot of food insecurities and, um, you know, housing insecurities here. So if someone's already going through that and then they have like their car breakdown or they have issues with childcare, those small inconveniences can end up derailing their entire future. Um, and we all know that, you know, if you, stop going for a little bit, it's so much easier to continue to not go than it is to go back to school. Even having the knowledge, the students, and I will say for myself as well, you're very prideful sometimes and you feel like you're being looked on with pity. And this is not pity money. It's us saying, we're here to help. How can we help you? I, at the last minute, decided to switch my program and I got an associate's in science with honors. I currently attend Winston-Salem State University for a biology major neuroscience minor. I'm hoping to go through and get a master's and a PhD and work on CTE research. The Finish Line Grant is a wonderful thing for students. I think that you know we need to be a little more aware of getting out the message. I would also like for people to understand that at a community college, we range from, you know, 15 to 65. Sometimes there are issues that happen, you know, because it's life and we're all on a different path, but whatever anybody could do to help somebody else may make the next research scientist.